All right, YouTube, it's time to talk about vaccinations, a topic that seems completely normal, but for some reason now, it's now this social calamity. You got people on both sides saying that study's a lie, and you got people on the other side saying it's giving my child autism. Mainly, I'm going to be talking about the importance of giving your children vaccines so the rest of the children who receive the vaccines don't have to suffer because of your completely slanted lack of research um, position. Now, the roots of the anti-vaccination movement began about a decade ago, maybe 12 years ago now, when Jenny McCarthy, I believe, stated that her child had received autism essentially something in the the vaccination gave her child autism he's like my child stop speaking to me etc so it started this huge movement which said we need to get rid of vaccinations because it's giving our children autism it's not necessary it's just something for the pharmaceutical company to make money off of you know the whole big pharma conspiracy theory I might agree with some of its points, but not a lot of them. It turns out Jenny McCar McCarthy's kids, kid, I mean, did not have autism. He had some other rare uh, disorder, but it wasn't autism. Furthermore, people like to point out to this research. This research that I believe a British, uh, English, whatever scientists did to make the correlation between vaccinations causing autism. What happened is people don't know how this was funded, who told them to do this. It's story time with me. Basically, this guy was paid by people who wanted to sue pharmaceutical companies to, to make a skewed study that would show that vaccinations would lead to your kid getting autism. Furthermore, he has since been barred from practicing medicine in his home country. Now, when he's on the news, he likes to claim that five people, five nations across the world have duplicated my research and would agree with me, but is always reluctant to tell what country, what laboratory, what researchers. He never says. Many people have duplicated his studies and found his uh, results to be incredibly skewed. So essentially, you can blame this on some greedy people wanting to sue the pharmaceutical industry, demanding science to be bent to their whim. And now, it's caused a mass panic and mass paranoia. So now people aren't giving their kids the MMR vaccine, polio, meningitis, and now it's bringing these diseases back threefold. When I got the measles, mumps, and rubella vaccine, I believe I said that right, I asked what these were. Uh, my, I think my dad either had measles or mumps. He told me about them when I was a kid. And both my parents and the doctor said that these diseases were basically cast out of existence for the most part due to vaccination. And look now, they're not giving their kids the vaccination, and look what three uh, infections have started kind of a mild epidemic. You betcha. Measles, mumps, and rutabella. Or rubella. I'm going to say rubella. I think it's rubella. <laughs> but they didn't, take, they didn't give their children the MMR vaccine, and now those three infections are coming back. Shall we not point to the polio vaccine that saved so many lives? You know, I'm, I'm happy that when I was, you know, 11, I didn't contract polio and lose control of my limbs because there was a vaccine for it. I'm happy that I got a meningitis vaccine so my brain didn't swell up without me knowing and dying a day later. All these wonderful things that vaccinations do, and yet these people refuse to give their children. What do you think is going to happen if uh, uh, some chicken pox outbreak happens? It'll be awful.
And the first ones to drop are the children of the anti-vaxxers and their parents as well. Guarantee. Um, but, you know, I don't get flu shots. I think they're a waste of money. I haven't gotten the flu in years. I thought I had the flu a couple weeks ago, but it was something else. It was like a mild cold. But I don't get the flu shot, but that's my choice. I'm an adult. Now, your kids, on the other hand, stop viewing them as your little puppet property. They're adults that can speak for themselves, whether you believe it or not. They may have limited reasoning cap uh, capacity, but for the most part, they could probably make a decision. So basically, the big pharma conspiracy theorists have now started a dangerous situation. I can only see this going downhill. You know, if they want to die from a disease or an infection or some widespread virus that's coming back that's supposed to be dead now for the most part, that's their choice. But now their children are paying the price for their foolish actions. Not acceptable. There's a reason you're required to have so many shots before entering public schools. So you don't bring the virus with you in case you get it. Which is another point I want to bring up. Just because a group of kids has the vaccine doesn't make them basically, in, uh, the virus is incapable of infecting them. They'll get infected too. And there will be no one to blame but the parents who support anti-vaccination. There might be some... Um, you know, this isn't trying to disregard that we need to keep an eye on the preservatives and vaccines, but there has been more evidence to support that this isn't the case than the case that it's going to give you vaccine or uh, <laughs> going to give you autism. My bad. And I also make it akin to, you know, as the uh, autism rate started skyrocketing. I have a theory on this, and this is kind of a basically common theme we see with these uh, disorders. If you remember back in the late 90s and the early 2000s, you remember there was a huge panic about ADD and ADHD. What happened was, you know, parents would freak out. Oh my gosh, little Susie, she's not playing with her home, or she's not playing, she's not doing her homework, she's outside running around with her friends, she can't concentrate on her schoolwork. I think she's got that ADD or ADHD. Or maybe she's just being a kid. It is said that in about five years, every one in two children will be diagnosed with autism. That doesn't mean they have it, that means they've been diagnosed with it, and... What I'm trying to say is, I think we're heading to the same thing which the ADHD, ADD thing sparked. When the founder of ADHD, ADD died, he basically stated that he believed the spectrum was way too broadly increased. It was so broad that it, it was almost impossible not to have it. I myself was tested for autism because I just didn't like to talk to people. <laughs> but um, I think there will be a time where it's so overdiagnosed that you really have to discern who is really autistic and who really isn't. Now, I'm not discounting real autism because there are some mannerisms and characteristics that you can pick up really fast with people that suffer from autism. They're not bad people or anything. It's just... It's noticeable. But... There will be a point where you don't notice it and they'll be like, Yeah, I have autism. And I realize it's a spectrum, but I believe it will start to be misdiagnosed. It's probably already being misdiagnosed. I mean, look at the uh, Jenny McCarthy's kid. She apparently said he had autism, but he had uh, some other disorder. 
So that's my theory on why the anti-vaxxer movement got uh, fire under it. They got fire and steamrolling in the first place was because of this uh, misdiagnosing epidemic. But get your children vaccinations. You may hold the sentiment that you believe they can cause autism. That's fine. And even if that was the case, it appears to be so rare. So, you know, let your children make their own decisions. I know, you know, they might not have the best reasoning capabilities, but they're essentially little adults that can make decisions for themselves. But in the West, in many cultures, they're seen more as kind of a dog until they reach somewhat of a self-sentient phase, and later on in their teenager years, they're more seen as their separate entity than just, oh, that's just so-and-so's child. That's my thoughts on it. Peace out, YouTube. Subscribe or not, the choice is yours.